All right, the next project we're going to do is in the back. It's a little, uh, it's a little elephant, baby elephant pattern. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to show you what the actual uh, cutout looks like. Okay. It's very, very small. All right. Uh, and that's why I want to talk to you for a minute and wait a minute, and say this if you are a new carver I would not attempt this okay uh, this is a very tiny piece which means it's going to be very very hard it not not hard but I would prefer you to be more of an advanced carver Now I'm not trying to tell you not to do the project okay but I have the solution for that this is a very small it's three quarter inch wood and it's only one inch by one inch so um, uh, you want to be very very careful even as an advanced carver to doing a project this small all right now if you want to do the project and you haven't been carving in a long time, it's very simple. You simply take the pattern. You take the pattern. You go to a um, copy machine and, and enlarge it. Now, according to your, you know, simple uh, deduction, this small pattern is three quarters inches long. I mean <laughs> three quarter inches wide okay so if you double the pattern then use one and a half inch uh, three quarters times two one and a half okay if you triple the size of the pattern and you can do that which will give you more room to, to, to carve of course then of course that's uh, let's see well that would be two uh, that would be two and a quarter two and a quarter for that okay so you can still it's a wonderful little pattern you can still do it just if you haven't been carving a long time out because you this pattern really requires you to get close to the knife tom has been carving a long time and is an expert at miniatures so um uh the there's several little patterns in here that are really small the little bear cub uh the little fox, see the little small pattern here, and it's out of I think three eighths or half inch wood or something like that. So these smaller patterns, I would suggest if you haven't been carving a long time, to not do them or to enlarge them so that you have more room. Okay. Now and this one, this little uh, uh, elephant is so small that uh, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to use a glove with it. Uh, you can use a thumb guard or like for instance this is what a thumb guard is Tom shows you. Alright now on this thing on this uh, uh, once again these are the areas that you cut and then you've got a little tail back here very small tail all right now do not put a lot of pressure on your knife do not all right we're going to take our knife and we're going to set our boundaries now for this little piece okay Cut on this side of it. Now, I'm not trying to keep anybody from doing the project, okay? But you can enlarge it, make the project bigger, and I think you'll have a little bit easier time carving it. Um, when you get to small things like this, you really, really need to uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to just kind of 
round this off up in here with a little and then we're going to go back here let's draw a center line on the tail back here and we're going to just cut here and take just a little bit a little bit off at one time see uh, the only reason I tell you that is because uh, when you get into small stuff you want to be sure that you can control the knife and beginners that is the first thing they have to learn how to do is control the knife and you see how I'm using the tip of my knife Tom says that in the book in other words that a lot of it is just the tip of the knife uh, and and you know there's a lot of people that first begin they may you know try to do that and all that stuff so let's uh, and that's for safety purposes I'm telling you that for that so you see how little little wood I'm taking off of this thing at one time that's why I told you this book is is great for for beginners and for advanced carvers because advanced carvers can learn uh, to do miniatures but carving is any carver knows is about the control of the knife for safety purposes what I'm talking about in other words I'm teaching a young boy right now and he's learned real good about safety uh, but it keeps you <laughs> it keeps you from the trips to the emergency room all right now basically was is shaping this thing I'm going to go ahead and cut in between there and I'm going to go ahead and cut there we go go ahead and cut a little bit off of that uh, the, you don't have to do this see I'm, I'm very very cautious when I use this piece now let's look at the trunk and let's go ahead and, and on each side let's bring the trunk forward All right, now let's look. Let me show you a picture. Let's look at this little trunk. He just brings the trunk down, brings it forward, and starts working with it like that. Okay. And the wood does change directions here, so you want to be real careful. careful and be careful here as you get that down be careful not to put too much pressure on it because you could probably break that in there I'm gonna come in in between those legs here like I said this is a very very tiny piece and you have to be real careful that's why a lot of it I'm putting it on my my, my leg there and uh, but I'm taking very small cuts a lot of people say why do you emphasize that so much because of the simple fact of safety
wood in there. I'm gonna move some wood in there to bring that that face out. Of course, let's we want to bring this down. Now the uh, tail is very uh, small. And we want to bring it down. The grain does change a lot in a little piece like this. Of course, you want the grain running up this way, okay, as we did with all the others. The grain does change. I also, you know, when I do uh, small miniature carvings of, of people, I also warn the fact that, that, you know, when I get into one and a half and one inch figures or, or you know, I, I don't, even two inch figures in some cases, unless you you're, can control the knife the way you want to, um, I would suggest that not be a case. Now, his ears are in here, sort of like this, in other words. So I'm just going to kind of move that around there and just cut a little bit off. Okay, same thing over here. Just gonna draw a little ear. That's where his ears would be. And you wanna hold on to that carving real tight. You don't want it to slip. That's why I said I would have a very hard time carving with this with a glove because I'm uh, my hands don't work the way they should at times. Okay. We're getting there. This just should not be, if you're experienced enough, this should not be a real long carving. It's just, you, you know, you, 
just want to be careful with anything this small because it is um, an issue. And be sure and watch your 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 uh, wood grain, the way that it changes on you. See already, we've got most of him done. I know if Tom was here, he'd tell you the same thing. That um, we want we want everyone to enjoy the wonderful, wonderful hobby of carving. But we also want you to be safe. Because um, nothing can ruin a person's ability to carve than to cut themselves so bad that they have to go to the hospital or something like that. And then they just give up. That's why I've always, okay, we're looking at that, there we go, we're getting there. Uh, that's why I've always believed in, um, now we're going to take that tail and we're going to point it a little bit, okay? Because uh, elephant has a very small tail, okay? And um, we don't, I, I, I know of carvers, young carvers who have started, and didn't know what they were doing, cut themselves real bad, and said they'd never pick up a knife again. And I, I don't want that to happen, in other words. Uh, everything has to be done safely. I worked in a plant. Okay, as we look at that, looking good. I worked in a plant for years. And the number one thing was safety. Everybody goes home at the end of the day safe. And that's what we want to practice here, too. I know that when I first start teaching a student that has never carved before, the key issue is learn how to control the knife. Once you learn how to control the knife, and just like Max, it took him a little while to get the cuts down and control the knife. But once he did, now he I don't even have to... I don't have to say anything to him. He can, uh, he gets you, he, you know, that was one of the things he was, he had a little trouble getting used to was the wood, the, the grain of the wood and, and how it, it uh, I'll go ahead and bring this over like this. Uh, get the grain of the wood and after a while he finally said, oh, okay, I get it now. Because he, he realized when the knife starts, starts uh, the knife starts pulling when it, and it doesn't want to go, then you're used, usually, I mean, now it could be you don't have a sharp knife, but that's usually not always the case. All right, we're going to come back and finish this little guy. And uh, it's a real quick project but it's just be careful okay